I'm Scott, I'm with Hammer in Hand, uh, project supervisor here on the Karuna House, and we're going to give an overview of our uh, now standard window prep detailing. Uh, Aaron's gonna, here is going to help us out. So we're going to start with, one first step is check the window opening. Uh, that seems fairly obvious, but it gets way harder to fix after it's been all prepped with the joint seam filler and the fast flash. Uh, we're using, do we have that product here? This is our, this whole window opening is going to be prepped with, uh, it's called Fast Flash. And there's a bunch of different products on the market now that are peel and stick flashings and a number of other uh, products out there. This product's seamless. It all just paints on the whole way from the inside opening out to here and then ties in with this Cat5 membrane and it's a completely seamless system. Uh, we start with this product here. This is a joint and seam filler. And what we do is we're going to prep all the small openings with this. And so it would be an opening here at the sill and the trimmer. You prep nail holes. You prep the joint between the plywood and the saddle in the window opening right there. Uh, again, on nail faces and then also on um, pockets in the uh, plywood. Uh, so first step check the window opening. Second step we do is we'll run, uh, we run the plywood long out to about here and then we take a router and trim it back. So as you can see here, it's just perfectly nice square corners. And when we go to set the window, this makes it that much easier to air seal. Uh, Cause again, not, not only this is, is this a flashing system, it's also for air sealing. So uh, that, that junction right there is super critical. If you cut this with a sawzall, you get it, the plywood gets all tattered and torn and you never really get what you need out of it. So have it, cutting it with a router is critical. The next thing we do is we go through and we'll take a, uh, some 80 grit paper and we just break the corner because we do get a little bit of fur on there. Th this step is, it takes two minutes and uh, really what it avoids is you get, all, you get a little bit of fur right there and it just uh, it impedes the, win the window installation just a bit. Okay, so the next step we do is you want to set all the nails. Occasionally when you run the sheeting off you get a nail that sticks proud. Really for, for shear you want the nail to be perfectly flush. In an ideal world that's what happens. Occasionally they stick out a little bit. So we go through and we set all the nails. Third step is going to be to start to apply the joint and seam filler. Now there's other products on the market that have a tape, mesh tape, and then you'll apply uh, the bead of caulking on the surface. Uh, this product has uh, filler in it, so you can basically fill this whole joint the whole way up and over, and then it's done. And then it, it's, it can expand and contract. If the plywood shrinks a little bit, it's not an issue. It can move with the plywood. Aaron's got this uh, Bondo scraper here. This is the, the best tool for installing this stuff. It's flexible. And down the road, when the uh, joint and seam filler hardens on it, it just peels right off so you can clean it day after day. The stuff kind of gets, it gets on the tools. It's just kind of the way it works. So you need to be able to have a product that you can clean it. Again, the joint and seam filler is to fill joints and seams, just like it says. So we're going to fill that plywood seam right there the whole way up. We're going to fill uh, the surface of the nails and we're gonna fill all the tiny little voids. And this is just about building the base. There's one more product that goes on top of this. This is the, it's the fast flash. So we're gonna show the application of the fast flash. We've already applied joint and seam filler. Depending on conditions, this stuff cures in uh, an hour. It can, be, it can be even less if it's really warm out. So one little trick we found, uh, as Aaron just showed here, is he comes, he'll just detail this outer edge first. Uh, if, we, if we try and apply across this whole swath, it gets really messy in this area. And you really want a nice, about as smooth a surface as you can get on this area to get a better air seal. So we end up detailing just the first inch, and then we're gonna come back and apply a bead that looks something like this, back and forth, and then we'll just tool the entire width across. With the Fast Flash product, you start from the inside of the trimmer, all the way across the face. And if you're doing the Cat5, we run it about six inches out. If you're doing a product like Tyvek Drain Wrap or anything else, uh, run it uh, nine to 12 inches 
out to about here. And the reason being is if you do get a wind driven rain, uh, if your Tyvek paper comes out this far, it's not going to go 12 inches in. It's going to come in for the, per their studies, come in, you know, eight inches or so and then drain down the face. So general rule of thumb with all these fast flash products is you have the right application when you can't see through it. So when you start with a joint seam filler, then your next product is the fast flash. As long as you can't see the last product you applied, you're good to go. As long as you can't see any sheathing through the Cat, the, the cat 5, uh, you're good to go. You just you can't, as long as you cannot see the product underneath it, you have the right thickness of application. So you can see how the, the fast flash product is just a seamless system. You can look at just the simplicity of this overall window opening. Uh, how thorough everything is, there's no, you can see with a peel and stick just how many pieces you would have. You'd have a piece that, that runs down the trimmer, you'd have a piece on the sill, you'd have some corner pieces. There'd be like t uh, five or ten joints right, right in this area. With the uh, uh, fast flash, there are no joints. Everything just rolls on one over the other. The corner is completely detailed. It, a peel and stick, you can get some tinting in this corner. Then when you go to install the window, that, that tenting is impeding the installation of the window so it needs to be cut or modified. You can get reverse uh, lapping, which is a huge problem. There's no reverse flat lapping with this product. You can't, you can't reverse lap it. It all blends together in the end and becomes a, a, a seamless system. So to kind of recap the entire process, we start number one with the pink. That's the joint and seam filler. Fill the nail holes, fill the corners, any other seams, the seam between the plywood and the sill or the plywood and the trimmer. Next step is the fast flash. Run it all the way to the inside of the sill or the trimmer and then uh, out uh, six to eight inches onto the face of the plywood. Next step is the brown, which is the Cat 5. Roll it all the way. We like to roll it all the way to that inside corner. Again, that gives us that redundancy. We've got two really thick layers here. Actually, it ends up being three by the time you do the joint and seam filler. So we have a lot of material right there where it really, really matters. And now we have a really prepared window opening. This thing is watertight. It'll be airtight and we're ready for our high performance window installation. It's, it's ready to go.